President Biden is turning up the heat on the midterm elections, now a little more than two months away. In a scathing address, the president taking direct aim at former President Trump and calling out MAGA Republicans, condemning the January 6th insurrection and political violence, arguing our democracy is at risk. President Biden today was asked if he considers Trump supporters to be a threat to America. ABC's Rachel Scott is at the White House. Tonight, President Biden defending his political speech in Philadelphia, where he said former President Donald Trump and what he called MAGA Republicans represented a threat to American democracy. Do you consider all Trump supporters to be a threat to the country? I don't consider any Anyone who calls for the use of violence fails to contend violence when it's used. Refuses to acknowledge that an election has been won. Insists upon changing the way in which the rules you count votes. That is a threat to democracy. Outside of Independence Hall on Thursday, the president appeared on stage, illuminated in red and blue, flanked by two Marines. Biden taking his predecessor on by name and referencing MAGA Republicans more than a dozen times. Too much of what's happening in our country today is not normal. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. The president framing the midterms as a referendum on Trump. MAGA forces are determined to take this country backwards. They promote authoritarian leaders and they fan the flames of political violence. But Republicans today accuse Biden, who campaigned on unity, of trying to divide the country. It was one of the most unbelievable things I've seen in a long time. It's unthinkable that he would be so condescending and criticize half of America. Rachel joins us from the White House now. And Rachel, the White House is facing some criticism for those Marines seen standing behind the president at last night's speech. But tonight, the White House now responding. Yes, Mary, and critics do point out how unusual it is to see the president deliver that kind of speech in front of uniformed Marines. But the White House says there is nothing abnormal about this. They insist their presence was intended to show that the president has a deep respect for the military, Mary. Rachel Scott at the White House tonight. Rachel, thank you.